Uh, yeah, Coach, rebounding has been an issue for you guys this season, but it seems like you guys added some pieces um, throughout the offseason to help with that. So with weak plays starting right around the corner, um, what has been – what do you attribute to the struggles with rebounding? You know, I just think it's a concerted effort of getting more guys in and around the basket. Obviously, you know, against Central Florida, we were able to rebound the ball pretty well against a big athletic team, and we just got to make sure we're continuing to give the right effort to pursue the ball when it's shot. And, um, you know, at times – when we've maybe, maybe been fatigued or not as engaged as we need to be, you know, that's been an area of concern where, you know, in the second half of the Ohio U game, they were able to hurt us on the backboards. Uh, certainly, you know, the Kentucky game, we were, we were hurt from a rebounding perspective. Um, you know, the second half of the Mount St. Mary's game, you know, we were hurt rebounding wise. And, and it's certainly something we've discussed and certainly something we're working on and talking about. Uh, and we got to get the commitment to go and, and pursue that ball when it's shot. Coach, looking ahead to this uh, start of league play, even though you guys have had your own struggles, you could argue that everyone outside of Oakland and the Horizon Leagues have their own struggles as well. How how important is it for you guys to have sort of a clean slate for these couple of games this weekend? I mean, I don't know. We, we just got to work on continuing to get better, right? We got to address some of the issues that have hampered us in games, uh, the ability to play full 40 minutes, uh, the ability to, you know, execute when need be on both sides of the floor, whether it's offensively or defensively, and, you know, obviously we, we've done preparation for Green Bay and, you know, that's our next opponent, but we haven't really followed everybody else. You know, we got things that we got to work on. We got things that we got to get better at. Um, you know, we obviously know some of the, you know, the Oklahoma State win that Oakland had and, you know, some of the performances they've had, but, you know, we got to continue to work on getting better. You know, we're, we're uh, five games into the season. You know, we got 26 more to play uh, and then hopefully some postseason. But, you know, we got to continue to work every day, getting better and attacking our weaknesses. Um, Andy, I, I thank, thanks for doing this for us. Um, is that the message that you're sending to the guys, or is there something else that you're saying? Um, you know, when you when you started zero and five, um, is there something else that you're preaching to them as well? No, we got to get better. We got to get better. You know, we got to be realistic about where we're at. We got to be realistic about things we got to address, and we got to go and we got to attack those things. That's that's how you improve, right? That's how improvement happens. You're not good at something, you you identify it, you own it. And then you work to improve it. And that's the only process that I know. Uh, there's no magic pill or magic wand. It's going to be, you know, good old fashioned, you know, hard work and uh, being cognizant of those areas that we're not as good as we need to be right now in order to be the teams that are on our schedule. And so that's, that's what we've been talking about. That's been the mindset. Um, you know, obviously we've, we've played four very difficult teams on the road. We have, we didn't handle our business at home against Mount St. Mary's. We only played it for about, you know, 28 minutes of that game. Um, and so, you know, we've put ourselves in this position and we're the ones that have to dig our way out. And uh, it's what you do every day in practice, try and work on, you know, improving and getting better and attacking your weaknesses. What did you learn about these teams you're going to be seeing this week, um, you know, in your, in your first lap through the league, um, you know, last season? And, and what do you think your keys to success are going to be? Well, we didn't play Green Bay last year, so we didn't get a chance to see them in our first lap through the league. Uh, but obviously we know that, you know, Coach Ryan is, you know, building that program and he's in his second year and, you know, he's got a lot of new faces. He's got a lot of guys that are, you know, taking on some new roles, um, but he's, you know, got them very well organized. They're very good positionally from a defensive standpoint on film. Uh, they have some very versatile pieces, some forwards who can step out and some, make some shots. You know, they have some guys that are excellent passers, uh, excellent aggressive uh, offensive rebounders, you know, so again, there's a lot of challenges. Uh, we played Milwaukee one time last year. We were able to beat them in our home court in a, in a, in a tough, hard fought game. And so, you know, we know that they're going to be very disciplined and, and difficult to handle on the defensive side. They last year did a great job of trying to get the ball into the paint, uh, attacking the offensive glass. Um, so those are things that we learned, but, you know, we have a bunch of new guys, so we learned it uh, as coaches, but we got to, make sure that these guys understand it and we can go out and execute it properly. Coach, you brought, you got back a couple of players from in the Davis, uh, Davidson game and Cam Ferris and Brandon Stone. Uh, is this the healthiest you guys have been all season to this point? And should we expect those two to be part of this going forward? No, it's not the healthiest because obviously, you know, Mike Green didn't get a chance to play. Matteo Kunzo is still out. Um, so we, we have not really been able to be healthy and, you know, that's part of, 
you know, just the rotation constantly getting shifted. It was good to have Brandon and have um, Cam back on the floor. I thought they gave us a good lift in their minutes. Uh, and, and it would be nice if we could get a consistent rotation going as we as we continue to move forward here so that guys can be a little more comfortable in the things that they're being asked to do. But we've had to juggle a little bit more than we typically would want. Um, but that's just what it's been. So we've got to make the best of it. we got to go out and perform, and we got to go out and, and play. Any other uh, questions for Coach? Oh, go ahead, Tristan. Sorry. Yeah, uh, looking at Green Bay, their leading scorer currently, Darvin Ivory, he seemingly came out of nowhere, didn't do much of his previous two spots, but has had a big role for Green Bay. Have you looked at him so far in terms of film and, and what he's going to give towards you guys? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's a big guard with a, a versatile skill set. Um, you know, he can really he's, – he's really aggressive offensively. Um, you know, he's had games where he's had multiple three-point shots in the game. You know, he can really straight line drive it. He uses his size very well. Um, but he's aggressive. He's going to be aggressive attacking uh, our defense. He's going to be aggressive hunting for shots. Guys look for him. Excuse me, I'm just getting out of the van here. Um, you know, there are guys look for him. And, you know, right now he's averaging about 14 and a half points a game. And, you know, he's somebody that certainly we've got to be aware of where he's at and what he's doing on the court at all times. Um, you know, as we try and slow him down to hopefully slow down their offense. Uh, Green, uh, Green Bay uh, has been struggling outside their opener against Indiana State when it comes to offense. And you guys have your defensive issues. Is this, this going to be a game where we're going to see a lot of points or is it going to be one of the slower pace? <laughs> Uh, that's probably TBD, Tristan. Uh, you know, I, I mean, hopefully we're able to slow them down uh, and hopefully we're able to score a lot of points. That would be the ideal situation. You know, they, they are, um, you know, they don't play at an incredibly fast clip. You know, they kind of have a little bit more, you know, there's times where they'll slow it down. And like I said, they do a really good job uh, positionally defensively. So, you know, they're not ever really overextending themselves. So sometimes some of your offensive possessions are going to tend to be a little bit longer because you got to, you know, find a crack in the, in their defense. Um, and they do a good job of really, you know, getting containment in the paint. So you're not going to be able to just, you know, come down the floor and get all the way to the rim. Right. Um, so they do, they do a good job with those things and uh, we'll have to kind of see how, how it plays out. But I think they've had stretches where, you know, they've scored in spurts um, they've scored in spurts and they've been able to, you know, put a bunch of points on the board in a, in a stretch. And then all of a sudden they kind of have, you know, some ebbs and flows to it, but, you know, they were down in, in Florida for a three game set and, you know, lost three close games, you know, so they're, they've been right there as well, uh, trying to get over the hump and make a couple more plays to get some wins. And, you know, we know that's what it'll be like on Thursday night. Any other questions for coach? Uh, I would just ask one more when it comes to, I mean, while obviously your focus is going to be on Green Bay, but you only have one day to prepare for Milwaukee and potentially Patrick Baldwin Jr., who's questionable for this week's games. Have you guys been able to get any kind of look at Baldwin Jr. in terms of how you're going to possibly defend him and the short prep you're going to have for him? Yeah, we haven't got there yet. Obviously, you know, some of our staff have been working on that scout, uh, trying to put some game plan ideas together, uh, but we have to take you know, the, the Green Bay game. And then, you know, Thursday night we'll get hard to work on, you know, decisions we need to make for Saturday. 